Hello, I'm Ryan Roberts in the WUFT Newsroom. For Tuesday, October 27th, here's your News in 90. Two more people have been arrested in last month's fatal Cloud 9 nightclub shooting in Ocala. Michael Smith and Gary King are each charged with one count of second-degree homicide and five counts of attempted second-degree homicide. On September 13th, deputies responded to the parking lot of the nightclub to find six people had been shot. 19-year-old Benitria Robinson was killed and one victim still remains in the hospital. Both men are now being held in the Marion County Jail without bond. Gainesville police are still searching for a man following a bank robbery at Wells Fargo yesterday afternoon. GPD received a call from a teller at the Oaks Mall Wells Fargo around 4 p.m. yesterday saying the bank had just been robbed. The suspect had passed a note to the teller saying that he was armed and demanded money. Officers, canines, and a helicopter searched to the suspect to no avail. GPD officials say the robber may be the same person who robbed the Archer Road Wells Fargo last month. And this morning, investigators are working to determine the cause of a sinkhole in Orlando. The estimated 15-foot-wide sinkhole is just off the Maitland exit of Interstate 4. One car became partially submerged, but so far there are no reports of any injuries. Maitland Police and the Florida Department of Transportation are investigating. And in South Florida, a small plane made an emergency landing on a Key Biscayne golf course after their pilot reported an engine problem. The two-person aircraft was heading to the Miami Executive Airport when it went down on the Cranon golf course. Officials say the two people who were on board are okay. The Federal Aviation Administration is investigating the incident. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.